Hi guys, I'm going to talk about a um, sleeper device. I call it sleepers because not too many people know about the technology or may not understand it, but this is a sleeper because this is one of the fastest portable storage solutions you can have on the market today. Sure, we have NVMe, PCIe SSDs. Those aren't portable though. I mean, they have Thunderbolt 3 enclosures, but those cost about 1300 bucks. This is the next best thing. Um, for $338, there's nothing on the market that beats this. Let me tell you what it is. It's a Mediasonic ProRaid enclosure. This is a two drive enclosure that takes two and a half inch drives. And it's a USB type C, uh, USB 3.1 gen two. So what that means, it gives you 10 gigabits per second. And when you use RAID zero, that's combining um, two drives together, like this Samsung SSDs, these two drives together in a stripe mode, RAID zero mode, you will get 800 megs a second if you have all the right pieces. Um, the Samsung Evos right now, these are $139 at Newegg and Amazon and B&H. I got these at B&H. So for $139 a piece, this RAID enclosure, which is 60 bucks, so for $300, $38, you're not gonna get anything faster. You can buy a Samsung T3 or T5, like one terabyte SSDs for $400, but you're at end of life with that tech. Um, Cause these use SATA and SATA is on its way out. Um, SATA was formed to power traditional hard drives. These traditional hard drives, you know, at most, you can get maybe 80 megs a second, maybe 120 megs a second. So SSDs go up to 400, 500. To break that barrier, you have to do RAID zero. You have to strap them together. And with RAID zero, you're combining two drives and that gives you 800 megs a second. So that's incre incredibly fast. There are some other products on the market like this. Um, you can get two drive MSATA ones, which are much smaller, but it's gonna cost you more money. There's the uh, Sandus Extreme 9000 and the Atom Glyph. The Atom Glyph is pretty small. But the Sandus is like this. All those devices, anything that claims to do 700 megs or 800 megs a second, all of them use RAID Zero. Um, that's just the way it is. You need to do RAID Zero and you need to strike it together to get that kind of speed. So this is the enclosure. This is the Type-C connector. There's a power connector if you're using platter drives, but who uses platter drives in a RAID? That doesn't make sense. So um, one word of caution. If you're connecting this directly to a hub or a dongle, you're gonna kill your speed unless it's Gen 2. And I haven't seen any Gen 2 devices like this one here. This, even though this is USB-C, this is still a uh, 3.0 Gen 1 output. So connecting this to a hub or anything like that, or even the wrong cable, will cut your speed down in half. So at that point, you're better off sticking with this. So um, at Gen 1, you can get the same speed as this. But when you're doing Gen 2, using the right cables, the right laptop or PC that has Gen 2, you'll get 800 megs a second. And let me show you that. So what does that mean? 800 megs a second means you can copy 20 gigabyte virtual machines, 20 gigabyte Lightroom catalogs in about 20 seconds, exporting 50 full frame Canon RAW files in about 12 seconds. That's fast. Not as fast as the internal drive or N NVMe, the fastest SATA based system you can get. So remember here, using SATA, which is pretty cheap now, um, and RAID zero, you will get 800 megs a second. And let me show you. Do you guys have a need for speed? Well, forget the Samsung T3s and the T5s and your portable externals. This is the device to get. RAID zero. 10 gigabits per second. Look at this, look at this. 828 megasecond write, 864 read. Okay, synthetic benchmark is fine. Let's look at some raw files here, Canon raw files. 
5D raw files, 21 megapixels. Let's do a file export. SSD RAID. Now watch this folks, 49 raw files. Just like that. Now, if you thought that was fast, let's look at backing up files. So now I'll copy, this is about 12 megs, 12 gigs, and less than about eight seconds, 10 seconds. 850 megabyte read and write real world, so not synthetic. I could show you a lot more, but you get the picture here. This is a large virtual machine I'm gonna copy over. 23 gigs, it takes about, this is 20 gigs. It takes about uh, 23 seconds, I did math. So 23 seconds, 853 megabytes read and write. So this is the enclosure itself. Um, it takes two drives, as you can see here. It's a do-it-yourself affair. There's four screws, it's very easy. Unscrew those, the, the top and the bottom lid. Put in your two drives. There are jumpers on it for RAID 0, RAID 1, or spanning disk. Um, so you do have to set the jumpers on it. And I had to read the manual because I didn't, I, it didn't work for me the first time. So once I, you read the manual, you figure it out. You set the jumpers, uh, press the button while it's powering up. You do this once and that programs the RAID mode that you want. And I have it as RAID 0. Uh, connected to my uh, touch bar and it sees it as a single drive and that's it. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you learned something from it. If you like it, please subscribe and follow me because I'll be producing more videos like this. Thanks for watching.